Zach Palmer here with Autoblog with the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek, the new third generation of Crosstrek right here. This is basically an all new, but pretty heavily refreshed version of the old one that we're looking at right here. So how about we dive in and start to look at some of the design changes they've done for the new generation. Right up front here, some of the big obvious ones, a new front end, so you have a new grill. There's no frame on it anymore. It just sort of like spreads from one end to the other. You have some new cladding design down here, some LED fog lights, LED headlights that also now turn with the steering wheel, so that's pretty neat. Moving along to the side, Subaru stressed that they have new aluminum fenders on this one, so that saves a little bit of weight. We have some 17-inch wheels on this guy, so this is the premium trim. The base and premium get 17s, whereas the limited and sport get 18 inch wheels. So these are the base ones. And then on this fender cladding here, Subaru made some new aero changes. So they put some intakes on either side that allow air to flow through better and make the car more stable on the highway. Pretty neat, small little changes. Moving further down the side here, you should look up because yes, we have some big old roof rails up here. Yes, you can of course go rooftop tenting in this Crosstrek. That's really cool and I just love the design of them too. They're really big and bold out there. It really show that yes, of course, you can use the roof on this little SUV, which is not super common in this class. All the way back to the end here, we have Subaru's distinctive tail lights. I like this design. People know what it looks like. I think it looks pretty sharp. And then back here, I'll just really stress how high this thing is off the ground. This thing has 8.7 inches of ground clearance front to rear. That's really, really good for this class of SUV that doesn't necessarily stress off-road performance, but this one does. And I can attest to that fact. It does really, really well off-road, of course, standard all-wheel drive. So this thing has a lot going for it, but we should probably hop to the inside and I'll show you guys a lot of the bigger changes on the Crosstrek. Welcome to the interior of the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. Now, if you thought the outside looked fairly similar to the previous generation, well, the inside is gonna show you that this is a rather new vehicle. Now, I will start off with probably the biggest change of all, which is this new 11.6 inch touchscreen right here. This is actually the upgrade touchscreen that comes on the premium trim and above. The base model comes with a dual screen setup. So you have one screen up top separated and then a bottom screen down there. I think that this looks a lot cleaner, but if you're familiar with some other Subarus, this is a very similar screen as on those ones. It's vertically oriented, and I really love how Subaru includes a lot of physical buttons in addition to just the screen. So you can use the physical buttons to change your temperature control. You have a great big volume knob and a great big tune knob for some of those easy to access items. The touchscreen itself is rather slow. I don't necessarily love that, but it is big, clear, and easy to read. You won't get confused rolling through menus or anything like that. Moving down into the center console, we have ourselves a pretty traditional Prindle right here, just straight back into drive, straight on up into park. Subaru added an electronic parking brake for 2024. And I also love that they kept their physical switches for the heated seats, which are right here. Super satisfying to use, make a nice click. I really, really dig that. As for some new technology, we have some new ports down here. So we added a USB-C port in addition to a USB-A. One funny item, there's still an aux port. I don't know how many of you guys still have aux cords, but Subaru thinks we still need one. Directly in front of me, the gauge set. We have some analog gauges that is framing a digital screen right in there that is customizable. It's not a lot you can do with it, but it is nice that you do have a digital screen on a sort of a base model here. As far as the trim goes, we have carbon fiber-ish look trim right there. It's also on the door. It's nothing too fancy, feels pretty plasticky, doesn't exactly look all that expensive, but it is there, there is some trim. As far as the seats go, you have these interesting pattern cloth seats and have some sort of green weave to them. So it's kind of a green, gray, and black look. They're meant to be easily cleanable. They're meant to look off-road, a little rugged. I kind of like it, but it also doesn't feel that premium. Up above me, we have ourselves a moonroof as low as the premium trim, which is really great to see. I really dig that. But that's all we have for the front seat. Should probably hop in the back because there's a lot of room back there. Welcome into the back seat of the Subaru Crosstrek. Now this isn't a lot different than before, but it is still a great big high point for this car. So I'm 5'10", I have the driver's seat set where I want it to be. And I am sitting back here in this subcompact crossover and it is positively spacious. I can spread out, I can stick my feet underneath the seat. There's a ton of room. My head is not even coming close to the ceiling. 
This is rather comfortable back here for such a small car. You could go on a four person road trip and be very, very comfortable. Now you also have a center armrest in here with some cup holders, which is great. And a couple of USB ports for your passengers, both a USB-C and a USB-A, which is pretty great on this cheap of a car. But uh, let's go check out the trunk because that's sort of where Subaru left an Easter egg or two for us. So welcome to the trunk of the Subaru Crosstrek. You can see manual release here, pretty simple, no electronic release available for this car, but pretty spacious trunk back here. This is a hatchback, of course. Now a couple Easter eggs though that I think are really neat. So with the sort of leading edge of the trunk, you have an, a mountain range down here, which leads into the cargo mat, which sort of shows a flowing river away from the mountain range, because of course you're gonna be taking your cross track to national parks and doing outdoor stuff and whatnot. That's all great and all. But what about your water when you go down those hikes? Well, Subaru has specially designed some cup holders just to fit Nalgene bottles. They're specifically designed the shape, the width of them for a Nalgene bottle. You can fit two, one on either side of the cargo mat. That's really neat and really cool. Other OEMs don't do that. And now we should probably put these back seats down so you guys can see the maximum cargo capacity because this thing is fairly spacious. You gotta bring a lot of stuff hiking when you go with you. So I'm gonna go around and hit these seats. So there we have it, the full cargo capacity of the Subaru Crosstrek. There is a lot of space back here. If it's only you and one other person, which is the typical buyer actually for a Subaru Crosstrek, just a couple, no kids, maybe a dog, but uh, yeah, you can stick your dog, a whole bunch of camping gear for a weekend, maybe even a short week back here. This thing is very, very spacious. But let's finish things up with a little powertrain talk, see what we have under the hood. So under the hood of the Subaru Crosstrek, this is the base model, the premium. That means that we have the base engine, which is a two liter flat four. Makes 152 horsepower, 145 pound-feet of torque. It is not fast. It is actually very, very slow. Zero to 60 in about the nine to 10 second range, but it does get good fuel economy. And there is an upgrade engine available. There's a 2.5 liter with 182 horsepower if you want it. It's a bit quicker. I definitely recommend it but this is the cheap fuel economy version of the Crosstrek that you get in the two base trims. Every single version of the engine, there are only two. They're mated to a CVT transmission, continuously variable. Behaves like normal Subaru automatics. When you floor it, goes up, Poe goes back and forth a little, acts like a regular automatic. You have some paddle shifters, but overall, just a very regular Subaru flat four with a CVT experience. So that was the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and go to the comments and tell us what you think about it below.